at the side of the road, walking towards the biggest club in the world. So I was out last night and uh, I was speaking to someone who actually went over to Privilege and just to do, just to take some pictures. And he got, got quite close, like in the ground, should I say. And someone come up and asked him to move. Um, and they said they were gonna phone the police and everything. So my plan today was to actually go really close. But because of that, I don't really want to cause any trouble. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna try and get as close as I can without actually going in the grounds. Because I think, I think they've got a problem with people sort of like trespassing just to take some photos. And because they do it, I mean, look at the renovation that's going on over there. I don't know whether you can see that, but it's absolutely massive. Well, it's the biggest nightclub in the world and uh, it's been took over. So it's getting a huge renovation. I don't know what's actually going on with it, but we're going to try and get close. No, it's no good. I tried to find like a place in the bushes over there. Privilege is actually over there, look. In the, in the distance, you can see it. Um, but I can't get close enough. But I found this little wall here. I'm wondering if I can get on top of that wall because it would have a pretty good view of a uh, privilege over there. So we're gonna have to cross the road over here. We're gonna have to maybe cross this road, go behind that wall and then go up and over there. Don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll give it a go. I'm definitely not supposed to be here, like... Ah, oh, wicked. That's the perfect view, look at that. Right, we made it, as you can see. It's gone through an absolutely huge renovation. As you can imagine, the whole island's talking about it at the minute. Everyone's asking questions like, will it be completely demolished? I mean, as you can see, it's actually, it's been ripped apart actually, but will it be completely demolished? Will it even be a nightclub when it's finished? Will it keep the same name? Will it be indoor? Will it be outdoor? These are just some of the questions the whole island's asking. So the club dates back to 1978. That's when it opened. It opened under a different name and then it eventually became Privilege Ibiza and it's actually the biggest nightclub in the world. So if you actually partied in there, you'd be surrounded by nearly over 10,000 people. So just to name a few DJs that have actually played in there, Tiesto, Steve Angelo, Sebastian Ingrosso, Alesso, Chris Brown, Benny Benassi, Example, Eric Prids, Hardwell, Gorgon City, Red Foo, Apple the App. Is that right? Apple the App? Bingo Players, Danny Howard, Far East Movement, Pete Tong, Adamski, Divine, Duran Duran even, Carl Cox, obviously, 808 State, Freddie Mercury. What has Queen played in there like? Didn't even know that. Gloria Gaynor. Grace Jones, James Brown, Kylie Minogue, Jos Jose Feliciano, Kid Creole and the Coconuts. Who were them? Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, OMD obviously. Spandau Ballet, Sylvester. Says here anyway.
owners of Privilege, or the site, should I say, where Privilege was, are none other than the family who own Ushuaia, they own High Ibiza, they own uh, the Hotel Amare, which is in Cala de Vaux. They own the place that used to be Bora Bora, which is now called Playa Soleil. Um, if you're interested in um, what they've done with Bora Bora, I'll link a video above and I'll link it at the end of the video as well if you want to watch this one first. And I was actually um, lucky enough to go there as they were pulling it down. I actually went inside and I was actually walking on top of the rubble. So that's a pretty cool video if you want to watch that. Um, they've completely revamped that place as well. But everyone knows this family who actually own this now. Uh, they're not shy of a euro or two. So whatever they do with this place, it's going to be an absolutely mental, huge and probably really suave type of place. Um, and it's got a reputation to keep up, obviously, being the biggest club in the world. I don't know if it'll be the biggest club in the world when they're finished. I don't know how much they're knocking down. So if your party's here at the biggest club in the world, please comment below. Let us know what year you actually went there, who you went to see and also your thoughts. I'm really interested in what people think about what's going to be where Privilege used to be. Well, Privilege looks like it's still there at the minute, but will they even keep the big dome? The whole white dome with Privilege written on it? I don't know. It's currently been ripped to shreds. So it actually closed, I think the last year was 2019. So literally just before lockdown. It hasn't been open since. Um, but there's still, there's still a couple of um, billboards still up in Ibiza. And as you can imagine, they've been, they're, they're proper faded because of the sun over the last like five years. But there's one actually in, I think it's in San Antonio just up from the old police station. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see if I can drive there and see if I can check it out. So I've managed to find the, the billboard. It's actually just over this wall, check it out. It's absolutely battered. just driving past it and I looked on the back side of the billboard and there's another one which is even more battered in fact you can only just make out the word privilege and everything else is like faded check this out this is mental look at that there's nothing there there's literally nothing on it privilege in the corner and then I don't even know who that is over there I don't know does anyone does anyone have any idea who that is no idea who that is on the side it looks a bit like Judge Jules but it can't be Judge Jules surely it hasn't been there that long I don't know who that is but it's faded proper faded but anyway what lies ahead for our privilege at Beatha nobody knows so i was actually out last night and i actually told someone that i was thinking about coming here and getting some footage and i was obviously thinking about going really really close inside the grounds even and maybe even like flying me drone through the uh through privilege or something like that but the person who i spoke to last night actually told us that he was there a couple of weeks ago and tried to sort of take some footage just like really really close up and they they were phone they were going to phone the police and they said the police were on the way. They were being really forceful about that, about him being obviously on their property. So when I came here today, I had second thoughts about going inside. So I thought I'd be outside of the grounds, do a bit of, bit of video and not harm anyone. So, I'm, well, not unless there's someone on the way to knock us over right now. But anyway, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.
mate. Like and subscribe, I dare you.